cell. So this is partly you now. Not off cell. So you think they might go um ask about batches and such? No, I mean, I think so. Because based on the three questions, well, three topics, I feel like it will just ask about like this part here that I'm going to do now. I feel like it's something like it. So remember this over here is the left hand side. So this is copper metal. So right, remember with the iron Fe two plus aqueous and Fe three plus. Sorry. So Fe two plus Fe three plus. If you notice, this half cell it contains two uh, two ions in solution, but this one it's solid and aqueous. So it means that you have a piece of copper in solution, in solution with copper ions. So what it means is that copper metal is the electrode. Right? Need space to draw this hot bridge. All right, let me just erase this. And then in this container, you have silver ions in contact with silver. So this is silver, this is copper. So we know that copper as the, it, it is more reactive than silver. So copper is going to be your negative electrode and silver is going to be the positive electrode. So the movement of electron, it is from copper over to silver. Sir, so, and all you know this is because um, based on copper, yeah, it's been up well, if you know your electrochemical series, but apart from that, they are going to give you the E naught. So the E naught value for copper is 0 0.34. Let me put that on the board. So the E naught for copper is positive 0 0.34, and for silver. It is positive 0 0.8, all right? So when you are comparing the one that is closer to zero, if, if, if both of them are positive, it's the one that is closer to zero, all right? So copper, it has a lower number than silver. This means copper has a greater tendency to give up electrons than silver.
right? So if you remember the electrochemical series, you can just arrange copper and then silver. But if you don't, compare the, the E naught. The higher the E naught, the, the less reactive it is basic, basically. All right, so th that is all you would join. It. All right, actually they did not ask us to join, but if they did, that is what you would do. Oh, this is where we had reached last night. So they asked us now to write the equation for the reaction occurring between copper and silver. So let us do, do that now. So remember the yeah. um the name of me coming out of the bomb that give. Oh yeah, right. tell me now. Um so yeah, we said no problem, no, no PR basically. Where no so it's no well on no problem. Yeah, capitalize the NO and the PR. Capitalize N and P. Yeah, yeah, big capital N capital N and capital PR. I'm not hearing up clearly. Let's say that again. Capitalize the, the the N and the O and the P and the R. The first. Oh, hold on. All right. So capitalize N O P R. That is that is what I said. Um, um yeah, yeah. As the girl said, oh, um, the most negative is oxidized. So NO, negative oxidized, most negative. Oh. And PR is the most positive is reduced. Oh. And you can look on peanut value them and literal assign which one are being reduced as when I be oxidized based on this. So negative is for oxidation. The positive. most negative. So I remember they can't get it more than positive. Right, so yeah, I'm going to put that as well. So NOPR, negative oxidation, positive is reduction. I, I also have um, an ox red cat. By the, way, I, by the way, this is not me. I don't mean about this. That's where I get it from. Well, let's just use the NOPR. So if you look at, let us just move quickly. So silver was positive 0 0.8, that is silver, copper, 0 0.34, right? So I said more positive is reduction, which means copper is more positive. So that is why it is at the cathode, right? Being the positive one. So if you want to use that one and remember it, All right, so let's go again. I'm going to clear the board. So look, what this is saying, right? In order to write the equation, if this is the anode, what happens at the anode? Oxidation or reduction? Oxidation. I have another name for this thing. Anox red cat. Anox red cat. Yeah. So write that one there. All right, so at the anode, what would happen to copper? It would form Cu2 plus and give up 2E. And reduction, it would form, sorry, at the A.
internet went a while ago. I'm not sure what happened. All right, so let's start again. The internet had, had went. So we had copper being oxidized to Cu2 plus. Then we have silver. Form Ag. So the final equation, it would be copper plus silver to give So this is the equation. All right, to calculate the standard cell potential, Just say E naught of the right minus E naught of the left. So since as sil since silver is on the right, so it is the E naught of silver minus the E naught for copper. So it could be the E naught of the cathode minus E naught of the anode. Right. Yeah. I same thing. So if you want to say E naught of the cathode minus E naught of the anode, sure. And silver I is an, eight. I have another way to say we can say E naught reduced minus E naught oxidized. Right. I same thing because oxidation occurs at the anode, reduction at the cathode. All right, so positive 80 minus positive 0 0.34, and we would get 0 0.46. All right. Yes, both of our unit. And a 0 0.8, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Excuse me, so will we have to um, change the equations are wrong or they will give us um, a sheet with the equations at the anode and at the cathode? Please repeat that, if they, if? If we will get, um, if we will get a paper, if we have to switch the equation are wrong or if they'll give us a paper with the reaction between the anode and the cathode and they'll give us the number so we could just plug it into the formula. They can just, give you the two of equations and their E naught. So there's an next question I'm going to work. So you will, yeah, you will get to see it, All right? Then it says, assess the feasibility of the reaction. 